the revolution in the battery sector is finally becoming a reality, and the protagonist of this change is a surprising innovation, sodium-lithium hybrid batteries. Developed by the Chinese giant CL, these batteries promise to change everything we know about electric mobility and energy storage. This new technology represents a fusion of two elements with very different characteristics. Sodium, which is abundant and cheap, is combined with lithium, known for its energy efficiency, to create a balanced, sustainable, and low-cost solution. The great promise of these hybrid batteries lies in the possibility of reducing costs by up to 30% when compared to traditional lithium-ion batteries. This directly impacts the final value of electric vehicles, making them more accessible to the average consumer. One of the main bottlenecks in the mass adoption of electric cars has always been the charging time. With this new technology, it is possible to charge up to 80% of the battery in just 15 minutes, something previously unthinkable in the market. In addition to the charging speed, the thermal performance is also impressive. These batteries can operate efficiently in extreme temperatures, whether freezing or scorching, without compromising performance. This eliminates the need for expensive heating or cooling systems further reducing the production and maintenance costs of electric vehicles. This thermal durability broadens the range of applications for batteries, from the Arctic to the desert. Thermal stability is one of the central pillars of this innovation. It allows the battery to be used not only in city cars, but also in trucks, buses, drones, and even in domestic and industrial storage of renewable energy. We are talking about a technology that is not just a distant promise. Production is already underway, with ambitious plans to scale up at an industrial pace in the coming months, anticipating a paradigm shift in the energy sector. With the arrival of these batteries, the fear of range anxiety, the fear of running out of charge midway, has drastically reduced. Drivers can quickly recharge at any station, with an experience similar to traditional refueling. This represents a milestone not only for individual users, but also for commercial fleets, such as logistics companies that rely on fast and predictable recharges to maintain efficient operations. Another point in favor of hybrid batteries is sustainability. The reduced use of metals such as cobalt and nickel, which are pollutants and difficult to extract, makes this technology much more environmentally friendly. Furthermore, sodium is widely available in salt marshes, seawater, and easily accessible mines. This makes its supply chain more stable and less geographically concentrated than that of lithium. This factor has important geopolitical implications. Countries that currently do not have access to large lithium reserves will be able to participate in the global sodium supply chain, decentralizing power in the hands of a few producers. With an energy density of 247 WH kgs, these hybrid batteries can offer a range that is competitive with electric vehicles. What's more, they have more than 5,000 charge cycles, maintaining their efficiency over time. This is a key factor in ensuring consumer confidence. An electric car needs a battery that lasts for years, without significant loss of performance. And that is what this innovation delivers. The applications don't stop at mobility. Sectors such as solar and wind energy can benefit enormously from this technology, storing large volumes of energy efficiently and safely. In remote regions where electricity is unreliable or not available at all, these batteries could become the backbone of local mini-power grids, accelerating sustainable development. The versatility of sodium-lithium also makes it ideal for electronic devices, such as smartphones and laptops, which require long-lasting batteries that do not overheat. The electronics market could also benefit greatly. While companies like Tesla and other giants are betting on solid-state batteries, which still face technical challenges, CL already has a solution in hand that is almost ready for the large-scale market. This gives the company a key strategic advantage. It can occupy a market space before its competitors, shaping industry standards and accelerating the global adoption of its technology. The global race for new batteries is not just about technology. It is about economic, political, and environmental influence. Whoever leads this race will have power over entire supply chains and could dictate the direction of mobility and energy. Governments are already paying attention. Public policies and research incentives are being reformulated to keep up with this new scenario. China, for example, has already set goals to accelerate the energy transition based on technologies like this. In Europe, the interest in diversifying the battery matrix is strategic, both for energy security and to reduce dependence on volatile and politically unstable markets. 
The United States has also stepped up investment, fearing it will be left behind in this new green industrial revolution. The pressure to innovate has never been greater, and eyes are on those who can deliver fast, scalable results. The biggest difference in these hybrid batteries is their balance. They do not rely on radical innovation, but rather on an intelligent combination of already known elements, which together overcome their isolated limitations. This hybrid approach shows that it's not always necessary to reinvent the wheel. Sometimes the solution lies in tweaking what we already have in a more efficient, intelligent, and affordable way. Durability, lower cost, sustainability, and high performance create a rare equation in the world of technology. Innovation that is born with commercial viability. This is a game changer for startups as well. Emerging companies that previously couldn't compete with big players can now build products based on this technology and reach a larger audience. The democratization of EVs is closer than ever. With cars costing as little as $5,000, millions of people will be able to access electric mobility for the first time. This is a game changer for developing countries where the high cost of EVs was an insurmountable barrier. Now, governments will be able to invest in sustainable and affordable public fleets. The environmental impact of this transition is also significant. With lower CO2 emissions, reduced use of toxic metals, and cleaner production, these batteries directly contribute to global climate goals. In practice, this could help the world meet carbon reduction targets without relying solely on expensive or futuristic solutions. CL is emerging as one of the protagonists of this new phase of the energy transition. Its ability to innovate and produce on a large scale challenges traditional companies and signals a new chapter in the history of batteries. The future of mobility won't be decided by performance or design alone. It will be defined by who delivers the best battery, the cheapest, fastest to charge, longest lasting and greenest. And the race is already underway. The launch of lithium-ion hybrid batteries shows that the technology of the future may be closer than we think, and more affordable too. More than a trend, we are facing a structural change. And like any fundamental change, it will affect entire industries, jobs, public policies, and even the way we plan cities and infrastructure. Companies that understand this early will come out ahead. Those that delay risk becoming irrelevant in a new economy where clean, affordable energy will be the norm, not the differentiator. The question now is no longer if these batteries will change the world, but when and on what scale. And the answer seems to be soon and on a much larger scale than we think. The arrival of sodium-lithium hybrid batteries also requires a close look at the supply chain. The shift from pure lithium to a composition that includes sodium directly impacts mines, refining processes, and international contracts already signed. Companies that previously invested exclusively in lithium extraction now need to adapt to include sodium in their operations. This creates a new market segment with opportunities for small and medium-sized suppliers around the world. The transportation of materials is also changing. Because sodium is less reactive and more stable than lithium, it can be stored and transported more safely reducing logistical risks and costs with insurance and containment measures. In the field of research, universities and innovation centers are already redirecting efforts to better understand the potential of sodium-lithium, both from a chemical point of view and in terms of practical application in vehicles and stationary systems. These efforts include testing for durability, impact resistance, compatibility with different types of inverters and controllers, as well as efficient recycling methods to avoid the generation of toxic waste. In fact, the recyclability of these new batteries also promises to be more advantageous. With fewer rare metals and toxic elements, the reuse process becomes simpler, less polluting, and economically viable. This opens up a new field within the circular economy, with companies specializing in reusing components from these batteries for use in new devices, solar panels, microgrids, and even in the aerospace industry. In the automotive industry, automakers such as BYD, NIO, Volkswagen, and even Tesla itself are keeping an eye on this movement. Some have already started partnerships or talks with CL to gain access to the new generation of batteries. The demand for partnerships is so intense that CL has announced plans to build new factories outside China, seeking to serve the European, Latin American, and North American markets without facing import tariffs or regulatory barriers. 
This decentralization of production strengthens the technological autonomy of each region and reduces vulnerability to market shocks such as pandemics, wars, or sudden trade restrictions. Consumers also become direct beneficiaries. With more suppliers comes greater competition and with it comes lower prices, more model and technology options, and more transparency in the manufacturing process. Another relevant issue concerns the design of electric vehicles. With smaller, lighter batteries with greater energy density, automakers gain freedom to create more compact models or models with more interior space. This could even change the aesthetics of cars, freeing designers from the limitations imposed by bulky conventional battery packs. The new generation of EVs could be more efficient, stylish, and functional. In terms of safety, Sodium lithium shows promise because it has a lower risk of spontaneous combustion, something that still worries consumers when it comes to pure lithium batteries. This reduces the risk of accidents and increases the reliability of the technology. Safety is a key factor for public fleets such as school buses, police vehicles, and ambulances. Adoption of these batteries in this sector could be accelerated due to the safer profile of sodium lithium. Governments, in turn, have the opportunity to review their electrification incentive programs based on this new technology, allocating subsidies and public financing to the local production of these batteries. This includes, for example, the creation of specialized industrial zones, tax exemptions for manufacturers, facilitating the import of components and investments in research and development. The global energy transition increasingly depends on these policy choices. Countries that invest now in promising technologies such as sodium lithium will have a competitive advantage in the coming decade. In practice, this can result in greater job creation, increased exports, strengthening of the trade balance and regional development in previously forgotten areas. For startups and small businesses, this is an ideal time to develop complementary products, optimize chargers, battery management systems, monitoring applications, and smart recycling solutions. The ecosystem around sodium lithium is still forming, and whoever enters the game now will have the chance to influence standards, build patents, and establish strategic alliances with major players in the sector. It is important to highlight that no technology is without its challenges. Although promising, mass production of sodium lithium requires improvements in industrial standardization and still faces logistical obstacles in some markets. However, the current advance has already surpassed the prototype stage in many aspects. We are talking about a technology that is transitioning to a commercial scale, which differentiates it from other projects that are still in the laboratory phase. With this, it is increasingly clear that the market is facing a historic turning point. The energy model based on fossil fuels is being replaced, step by step, by cleaner and more efficient technologies. Hybrid batteries not only accelerate this transition, but also make it economically viable, something that many sustainable alternatives have not yet managed to achieve. More than an environmental solution, sodium lithium is a bridge between the desire for decarbonization and the budgetary reality of countries and consumers. It makes change possible. In addition to all these technical and commercial factors, there is also a cultural impact. The mass adoption of electric vehicles transforms habits, urban planning, infrastructure, and even the way we relate to mobility. The way cities are organized can also change. With more fast charging stations and quieter vehicles, a new urban landscape will emerge, one that is cleaner, more efficient, and more pleasant for residents. This new scenario is not just a utopian vision. It is starting now, and the driving force behind this transformation may be the sodium-lithium chemical cells that are about to dominate the market. From an educational perspective, there will be a growing demand for qualified professionals in battery engineering, materials chemistry, electromobility, and energy infrastructure. Universities and technical schools will play a crucial role in preparing this new workforce to meet the explosion in demand for knowledge and innovation in the sector. The future belongs to those who know how to align technology, sustainability, and economic viability, and sodium-lithium hybrid batteries are consolidating themselves as the link that unites these three pillars. The environmental impact of sodium-lithium hybrid batteries is a crucial differentiator compared to other emerging technologies. Because they use more affordable and less toxic materials, they cause less degradation to soil and aquatic ecosystems. While traditional lithium mining requires large volumes of water and generates complex chemical waste, 
Sodium extraction can be done more simply and with significantly reduced impacts on the environment. Another positive aspect is the reduced dependence on metals such as cobalt, which are often associated with human rights violations and precarious working conditions in producing countries. The reduction of this input represents an ethical advance in the sector. Furthermore, these batteries are easier to dispose of and recycle due to their more stable composition and the lower reactivity of their components. This reduces long-term environmental risks. With the popularization of electric cars driven by these batteries, a drop in CO2 emissions from the transport sector, currently one of the biggest global pollutants, is also expected. The benefits also extend to the agricultural sector. Machines powered by sodium-lithium batteries will be able to operate with lower energy costs and lower pollutant emissions without relying on fossil fuels in isolated regions. Likewise, rural and peripheral communities will have access to cheaper solar energy storage solutions, which allows sustainable and autonomous electrification in places where the electricity grid does not reach. This has profound social implications. Nighttime education Access to information, security, and basic well-being are made possible through reliably and affordably stored clean energy. In industrial sectors such as mining, construction, and port logistics, the use of these batteries in heavy machinery could reduce operating costs and emissions while ensuring continued energy efficiency. Light aviation and maritime transport are also beginning to look more closely at these hybrid solutions which promise to extend the autonomy of electric vessels and reduce weight in small aircraft. From an economic point of view, the spread of this technology should generate a restructuring of the global market. Companies that are able to adapt quickly to the new reality will have significant advantages in terms of competitiveness and innovation. With the drop in the cost of batteries, it is also expected that the prices of electric vehicles will reach a level that makes them not only equivalent to combustion models, but even cheaper, which would be a historic milestone. This turning point will change consumer behavior, which will begin to consider EVs as a natural option, no longer as a niche product or aimed only at audiences with high purchasing power. Public transport companies will also be able to renew their fleets with models powered by these batteries, reducing pollution in large cities and contributing to carbon targets established by international climate agreements. The logistics sector, especially the last mile sector, is set to benefit even more. The combination of low operating costs, ultra-fast charging, and thermal reliability makes this technology ideal for urban delivery vehicles. Sustainable tourism is another area that will be heavily impacted. With more affordable electric vehicles and long-lasting batteries, environmentally sensitive destinations will be able to better control their emissions and offer cleaner experiences to visitors. The electric car rental market could also expand as lower operating costs and reduced maintenance requirements make EVs a highly viable option for shared fleets. Connectivity with smart charging systems and urban power grids will make these batteries an essential component of smart city infrastructure, enabling automated and efficient energy exchanges. This synergy between energy technology and mobility is what will define the next decade of industrial innovation, and those who are prepared to integrate them will come out ahead in a highly competitive market. Ultimately, the advancement of sodium-lithium batteries symbolizes more than a technological evolution. It represents a real chance to transform our way of living, consuming, and thinking about the planet. If you enjoyed this content and want to continue following the biggest innovations in the world of technology, clean energy, batteries, and electric mobility, subscribe to the channel now. Here you will find complete analyses, accessible explanations, and real-time updates on what is shaping the future of our planet. Activate the bell so you don't miss any videos and share this content with those who are also interested in a more sustainable, intelligent, and connected world.